Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and this is a Boat Tail Rivy, baby. She is a 1973 model. It's got a numbers matching 455 under the hood with its numbers matching trans behind it. This baby's got just over 30,000 miles on it. It is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Check out that beautiful black paint on this beautiful car. And these cars are very, very hard to find. And you know how I know that? Because we look for these babies every day. Happens to be one of our favorite cars here at Vanguard. And look at those red line tires wrapped around those beautiful Riviera wheels. Man, she is a beauty, isn't she? Look at those body lines. And man, just look at this thing. I tell you what, I don't know if they make a slicker looking car out there. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Look at those door jams. Look at the door panels. I mean, somebody took beautiful care of this thing. Look at that door jam. Look inside there. Look how nice and clean all that is. That is all original. I mean, that's original paint right there on that door hinge right there. The carpeting, the interior, the center console, everything about this car, absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Check out that back seat. You wanna talk about style? You wanna talk about trim? Look at all that trim back there. Can you imagine if you needed to find a piece of that? Look at the headliner, the shoulder belts. Look at that gigantic dash pad. Can you imagine if you had to find that baby? She is gorgeous. All the woodwork, all the trim work, everything about this car is just absolutely gorgeous. I love the lines. Look at that back window, man. Chrome on the back bumper's looking good. Now we do have just a little bit of pitting around these windows. No, windows, those aren't windows, those are tail lights. <laughs> the rubber back here is looking good. Look inside the trunk. We got a big old cover inside here. Look down in here. All of this is nice and clean. You look around here. All of this is all nice and clean. Bottom side of the deck lid, all nice and clean. Looks like the original jack instructions here. Original spare tire instructions there. Let me move all this cover over here. I'll just pull it right out. Look at that. That may be the original spare tire in there too. Look at that. Man, that's cool. Put that back in there. Make sure that hits your driveway. Look at this cardboard right here around that latch. Now that's definitely original. You want to talk about well kept throughout the years. The fact that that is still in that kind of shape. That just goes to show you how well kept this car was throughout the years. Look down that passenger side. You want to talk about some awesome body lines. This baby has got some style. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we do not do any consignment whatsoever. That means we own this beautiful Rev. So you can bet we spent the time and checked her out before we bought her. Then the first thing we do to every one of the cars here at Vanguard is we put them up on the lift and check them all out so Tom can answer every one of your questions. And you can call Tom anytime you want. He answers his phone seven days a week and practically 24 hours a day. Now, if he does not pick up the line, he will call you back, rest assured. Now, I've been in the business for about 35 years, and I tell you what, this has always been one of my favorites. So I'm using all that experience every day to help you pick out your dream car. All right, guys, we got our Buick here sitting at the door. Unfortunately, Michigan has hit us, and we don't want to get this car out there, especially. It's already been so well kept. It's got so many few miles on it. And once you see the undercarriage, you're going to see why we're just not taking it out there in that big old mess. So from the interior here, of course, you saw it running. It runs really, really nice. It actually it has got nice 
uh, good, you know, snappy throttle response. As far as our dash goes here, even the clock is working on it. I'll try to get you a key on here. You can see generator and oil light are working. If I crank it, you can see that our, I uh, almost tried to start, uh, temp light actually is working on it as well for us. Another cool thing here, got our ignition on. Even the parking brake warning light works, which is really awesome to see on these. Prindle, all that stuff is working. All that's all hooked up. And of course, it's got all of its buzzers and stuff like that. Fasten your safety belts. I mean, even that's working on this car. Fuel gauge is working. Windshield wipers work, if you don't believe me here. Low speed, high speed, and they park themselves. Horn works. Looks like it's got the original steering wheel. I'll shut the ignition off. But before I do that, Factory uh, FM and AM radio both work, which is really, really cool to see. Blower motor works on all speeds. AC car, AC works. Um, oh, it's got electric windows on it. They all seem like they're fairly snappy. I mean, all, all of them are working. Really, really cool to see on this one. And uh, of course, remote mirrors and whatnot. I mean, really sweet car, guys. Really highly optioned. Very comfortable to sit in. And given the low miles nature of it, I mean, it looks like all the original interior pieces here. They don't repop really a lot of this stuff. I mean, it's a Riviera. It's not a 69 Camaro or any stuff like that. So a lot of this stuff, I believe, to be original. And uh, it's really, really nice. Very, very well kept. Even the center console, a lot of these are beat up. You know, very cool shifter on this one. Um, overall, really nice condition on the interior on this. Everything seems to be working. And with the luxury car, that's a lot of options. And really, really cool. Even the dome lights are working on it. So... That all being said, guys, we're going to go throw it up on the hoist, and you're about ready to see why we don't have it out there in the soup today. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we've got the underside of our 73 Riviera here. Um, now, starting from the back here, I do believe this to be the original bumper on this car. It looks to be like the Chrome's original. It's very well, you know, survived, you know, but you can see a couple little things here and there that implies it's uh, more than likely the original bumper for the car, which to me is kind of cool. Um, frame on the back of the car looks beautiful. I don't see any evidence of any sheet metal repair. I can see spot welds and all over the place here. It's overall pretty cool. Um, as far as the fuel tank goes, I believe this to be the original fuel tank refurbished. Um, on either side of it here just looks like a set of factory mufflers on it. Just everything that it would be. Uh, frame rails in the back look like they're in pretty nice shape. Springs look like they're in good shape. Does look like it's had a, a new set of shocks on it. Uh, Olds, uh, I think it's a Olds Buick, uh, I think they shared this rear end, uh, 12 bolt, it's different than the GM 12 bolt to my knowledge. Um, about a 290 to 1 uh, gear ratio, so it should get up on the freeway no problem whatsoever. Open diff, luxury car, that's pretty normal. Um, now another luxury car thing here, you get this double U joint here you often see in a lot of the GM luxury cars. Um, look like all of our bushings here and our rear end for our four link are all in excellent shape. Another cool thing I'd like to point out while I'm here, it doesn't look like any of the uh, fuel vapor system. None of that has been molested. That's all still there. Looks like it's even got factory GM clamps on a lot of this stuff, which is all really cool stuff to see. And I don't like to see cars butchered, so I'm happy, very happy to see that. Uh, the whip hose looks like it's in excellent shape as well. It obviously has been replaced at some point. There's no way that that's 40 years old. Um, looking at our fuel lines and stuff like that, they all look really nice and healthy. <clears throat> Excuse me, looks like our parking brake looks to be all set up. Uh, looks like a factory style set of mufflers obviously been replaced. Uh, drive shaft looking decent. Floorboards look like they're original to the car. I don't see any seams or anything like that. That implies that it's had any metal work and with a fairly low miles car, no big surprise. Um, another cool thing that I like to see here, it's kind of hard to see on this edge here, but if you look up into here, you can see that there's really no rust or anything like that all up in there. It looks like factory undercoat all up through there. Um, and once again here, especially in Michigan where we get the slime up here, a lot of the time you don't, you, don't, you don't see this pretty stuff up in here like that if a car's been driven around and that sort of stuff. So this to me implies that this is a very well kept car. Moving all forward of that, this is a turbo 400 three-speed automatic transmission and don't let that worry you with that gear ratio you got in the back. You should be just fine to hop this thing up on the freeway and cruise around in modern traffic. And this is the numbers matching transmission for this car in both the VIN number and the tag also specifies it to be correct for the car and 1973 correct. Moving forward of all of that, um, front end of course here at GM, or uh, excuse me, here at Vanguard, we uh, check out all of our front ends. We've got mechanics that will specifically unload all of the stuff, shake all down all of our ball joints. Uh, front end, you know I mean? Make sure to test everything out, tie rod ends. Uh, idler arm, actually speaking of the idle arm, brand new, Moog part, Moog, good high quality stuff. We like to see it on a lot of our stuff here. Um, everything feels nice and tight and like I said, we'll actually unload all this stuff and make sure that everything is in good health. Uh, disc brakes in the front, drum brakes in the rear, and if I didn't mention it back there, the wheel cylinders in the rear, brand spanking new, you don't got to worry about that. They haven't even been painted over on the backing plate, so it looks like brand new cast iron. 
Um, underside of our fan shroud here looks like it's in good shape. And once again, it's not been oversold here. This has not been spray painted black or something like that. That's just raw plastic, just the way it would have been. Brand new oil filter on it. Here at Vanguard, we change all of our oil too. And uh, it just whether it needs it or not, it gets an oil change. Brand new shocks in the front as well. Moving around to the side here, uh, bottom of our frame rails look good. Once again, popular spot for rust here. Uh, this hole right here by the wheel gets loaded up with all sorts of garbage, holds moisture, causes frame problems. If you look up there in the wheel wells, you can see they're in really nice shape. Once again, very original looking car, very honest looking car, all good things to see. Uh, B of Goodrich uh, Silvertown radials, which is a red line tire, looks very good with the original wheel on it. You can see our disc brakes poking out from behind there. Of course, the rotor looks like it's in excellent shape. Coming around the side here, you can see here all of our chrome on the bottom of the car looks like it's in beautiful shape, not dinged up, not dented, you know what I mean? A couple little scuffs here and there, but nothing to worry about. And of course, it's all original. It's only original once as far as I'm concerned. For the rear here, we have the same, uh, same good look at Redline tire. 235-70 R15s, and I do believe that's what's in the front as well. Um, 2016 date code on these tires, which means they're in excellent health. Good looking wheel in the back, and same good looking thing if you look up in that wheel well there. Looks absolutely beautiful, and even right here, this back piece of trim looks like it's in excellent shape as well. No dings, no dents. So, that all being said, let's go take a look at the numbers matching V8 under the hood. Alright guys, this is it. 455 four barrel Buick. Now, this is the numbers matching engine for this car. I should have pointed it out underneath. Uh, it, you can actually see the VIN number stamped on the front face of where the timing cover goes, or the uh, water pump, on the front of the engine. Like I said, easy to see underneath, not so much over here. Uh, my apologies, I should have pointed it out when we were underneath the car. Um, suffix code over here on the side of the uh, deck surface, XF stamp. Um, that is actually a 1973 only 455, adding credence to this being the numbers matching engine for this car. Now, between the original uh, cast iron uh, Cylinder heads, we have a cast iron intake manifold, and atop that we have a Quadrajet four barrel carburetor. Now, that carburetor, judge by, judging by the numbers, is a Buick Correct carburetor. It technically comes up as a 1972 model year carburetor. Um, to me, that's, given the originality of this car, it very well may be original. It might just be a leftover from the factory, and I will leave that up to you guys to decide, but uh, I don't know. It's pretty darn close for it to be not original, for someone just to have slapped a carburetor on it. Um, now, outside of that, everything is really, really original in here. As you can see, it looks like it's got all of its original stickers, even the tune-up information for the engine, which I think is extremely cool. Um, back when, you know, people were actually meant to service their own cars. 455 four-barrel, as it says right there on the air cleaner. AC car, which is cool here. It looks like all the original AC stuff is still here. Um, of course, you know, all the original type, uh, like your smog pump, all that's here. All of your like vacuum harness stuff, a lot of the time that was the first stuff to go on these and it looks like it's all here still with even it's like a actual like it looks like aluminum pot metal type uh, fittings and stuff like that. You know darn well if that was replaced it'd be plastic nowadays. So outside of all that stuff, original type fan shroud, um, of course like integrated coolant tank here, all real cool stuff to see. Um, original vacuum tanks, horns, if you look down inside of here, all this looks like it's in excellent shape. Of course, doesn't look like it's ever been replaced, it's just a nice, honest car. Uh, of course, power steering and power brakes, it's a Buick, that doesn't come as a surprise to me. Um, two or three things that I can see that have been replaced in this engine bay, out of very few things, is going to be, uh, we have our, uh, looks like a replaced squirter pump, I guess you would call it, for that uh, hooks onto your uh, bl uh, wiper motor there, and it looks like we have a brand new master cylinder as well, which probably was done at the same time as your uh, wheel cylinders in the back that you heard me mention. And of course, brand new battery. Of course, you wouldn't want the 40-year-old battery in here. Um, but overall, very nice car, very, very honest, and as you can see, I mean, it's a Buick. And uh, even, I also like to see when it looks like the original sound deadening material or uh, insulation is underneath the hood as well. All really cool stuff to see, guys. So, if you'd like to come in and take this car for a ride, it'll, it's a Buick, it'll probably rock you to sleep. Uh, call Tom with the number below at Vanguard Motor Sales Park, this Riviera, in your driveway.